Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for a, another video. I'm going to be doing a quick video on FOMO for you. So as you guys can see, this is not my usual setup. You guys are used to seeing my videos when I was in London. But today I'm in Dubai and I'm in my hotel room. So that's why it looks a little bit different today. So this is actually a topic that I've covered because I received a lot of messages on Instagram about FOMO and how to really avoid that fear of missing out as the common challenge that a lot of traders actually have, especially when starting off. And this can actually be due to a lot of reasons, mainly due to a lack of confidence and trust in your own analysis. So what is FOMO? FOMO stands for fear of missing out. It's actually commonly seen as a key factor that impacts traders quite negatively. And this sense of fear of missing out actually comes from the fact that the Forex markets are actually very fast paced with a highly volatile market. And due to this highly volatile nature, it actually instills this fear of missing out. If the markets were much more slow paced and smooth moving, it would give traders enough time to be well thought out and have trust in their analysis when placing trades. However, due to this volatile nature of the markets, traders feel like they don't have enough time to enter trades and also not enough time to make calculated judgments, which instills FOMO. A lot of traders that usually experience FOMO commonly may be tr actually trading gold. And that's because gold is actually a lot more volatile compared to other pairs out there. Some emotions that actually feed into FOMO that you need to look out for is greed, jealousy, anxiety, um, stress, and overexcitement and impatience. If you actually are experiencing any of these emotions, make sure that you have a red flag pop up inside of you, letting you know that you need to be extra cautious as you may be experiencing FOMO. And just make sure that you're being extra cautious, that you're placing trades not based on these emotions, but rather making calculated judgments based on your analysis. So you're probably wondering, how does FOMO actually impact traders in the real life market? The first way that it could impact a trader is through entering trades too quickly, impulsively, without making enough calculated analysis or judgment behind it. The second way in which it affects traders is by exiting trades too early by looking at what others are doing in the market. A key cause of FOMO is actually social media. The fact that we have things like TradingView, we have Telegram groups, we have Instagram. We're connected to seeing other people's results instantly. People talking about what trades they're making, people posting ideas uh, every second pretty much on TradingView. And what that does is it instills FOMO within us as we see other people may placing their trades, placing analysis and having results and that could lead to you just wanting to place trades based on what you're seeing around you. A lot of new traders and beginners within trading actually experience FOMO far more than experienced traders and the reason for that is because they usually come into trading through news through finding out, oh, you know what, there's a rumor going around that gold is going to have a huge spike in 2021. So invest into gold. What happens is that they enter and start trading based on these rumors of news around in the market, which ends up actually being FOMO in reality, as they have a fear that they're going to actually miss out on this huge spike in gold and they want to get in as soon as possible. A great example of this is actually currently happening right now. So as you guys know, Bitcoin has actually rocketed up to 30,000, above $30,000. And it's actually been going quite high, quite quickly. And a lot of people, what they want to do is they want to jump into the market and buy Bitcoins before it actually rockets higher up to 100,000. And what that is, is essentially fear of missing out. They have this fear that they're going to miss out on the Bitcoin hype and they've essentially already missed the time to enter into the markets. This actually happened previously, as you guys would have remembered, when Bitcoin actually went really high up to $20,000 and then plummeted straight back down. And a lot of Bitcoin fans may not like me talking about this or saying this, but you should really make sure that you've done, firstly, 
good technical and fundamental analysis before jumping into the trade and also have good risk management. Make sure that you have a stop loss. A lot of people actually bought Bitcoins last time when it went up to 20,000. They didn't have a stop loss in place as they didn't think that it would rocket back down and a lot of accounts actually got margin called and they lost out on a lot of money. You're probably wondering, does this now actually contradict with sentiment analysis? Because there's three types of analysis that you can do, sentiment analysis, technical analysis, and fundamental analysis. Essentially, it does contradict with sentiment analysis, which means that you look at what other people in the market are trading and what, what, what's the common direction in which traders are trading. However, you should never do sentiment analysis purely on its own. You should always combine sentiment analysis with fundamental and technical analysis. Some key things that you can actually do to avoid FOMO. Number one, make sure that you have done your technical analysis. Look at the charts, look at market patterns, make sure that you've done your part of technical analysis with whichever strategy you use and you feel most confident in. Secondly, make sure that you've also checked your fundamentals and done your fundamental analysis for the trades that you're about to place. Number three, set a good risk to reward ratio on all of your trades. Make sure that you have at least a minimum of one to three per trade as if you lose out on three trades, you can actually just have one winning trade to bring you back into a break even or even into a positive. Number four, make sure that you actually set a stop loss which is realistic to your analysis. Don't be too over ambitious with your trades based on a hype or based on news saying, you know what, gold's gonna rocket to 2000. I've seen it so many times on trading view chats where people are saying gold is gonna rocket up to 2000 and what happens is it ends up plummeting down and new traders see these messages and they say, oh, you know what, someone's saying this, so let me go in. And that, that's not a realistic stop loss or take profit to have in place. Base your stop loss and your take profit on your analysis and try not to be too over ambitious with it as what could happen is you could end up actually losing your profits or even going and hitting your stop loss. So definitely be cautious and accept the profits that you have and look for the next trade. Don't try to just let your trade run, 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 run and then a news event comes in and then the trade's gone right back down and either hit your break even or, or hit your stop loss even. Number five, surround yourself with a community that have a similar trading plan or mindset to you. There's a lot of different communities out there. There's hundreds and thousands of groups on Telegram. Try not to add yourself into too many. Maybe stick to one, two or three of your favorite ones that you feel have a similar trading style to you. That way you won't be looking at people who have a different trading style and looking at their analysis and getting that confused with you because an intraday analysis on a pair may be that it's going to be a sell but a long-term analysis may be a buy so what you want to do is make sure that you're not mixing up these analysis together and confusing it with your own analysis as everybody has a different trading plan so try to stick with a community that has a similar strategy to yourself lastly the sixth point is have a plan follow the plan and keep sticking to your strategy. Create a detailed log of what you want to aim for in the day, week or even the month so that you know that once you've hit your target for the day or the week that's when you stop. That can actually help you and stop you from over trading so that you don't have that fear of missing out. As you know you've already hit your target and there's no need for you to actually keep trading or looking at what's going on in the market. And to help you with that, keep a trading log. And if you want a trading log to help you, there's a link in the description of the trading log that I use. So hopefully if you guys want to use my trading log, you can download that for free. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
and I hope you really found it useful as I think it's definitely something that can help new traders out there and also experienced ones as just a quick reminder. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed as I will be filming more content regularly for you guys. And please leave a comment down in the description on what your experiences are with FOMO and how you deal with it and if you have any advice for new traders out there. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye guys.